Hey everyone, so this is Mr. O'Leary and we're kicking off our Introduction to Logic Debate and Argument class, which is going on simultaneously with our Debate Club. And Debate Club, if you're interested in Debate Club, it's probably because you like to argue, you like to defend your arguments, you like to challenge other people's arguments. Um, you take an interest in certain topics um, and you're going to have an, a great opportunity to spend as much time as you want uh, in challenge or in uh, argument with other people. And we're also going to be doing formal debates and we're going to talk about what debate means and what different types of debates there are. There are formal debates where uh, the different teams take their turns and are timed and have very specific structured approaches. And then there are debates uh, that are more like um, just a free flow, one-on-one uh, -on -one type debate where people are arguing and challenging each other and, and calling into question what the person says. And then there are debates like you see with the political candidates where you have multiple people and they answer questions and then they ask each other questions or they answer follow-up questions. Uh, so we're going to do lots of different types of debates. Some of them are going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so, some of them are going to be live debates while you guys will be uh, doing it in front of each in an audience, and you'll be scored. And and some of them will be au just audio. Some will be chat, like what we see in front of us. Some of them will be uh, video. Uh, we're going to just see what we can do with different types of uh, debates. But what we also want to do, and this is really what this course is going to start us off with, is understanding that debates don't just mean saying your opinion and arguing with the other person and saying that's stupid and, and or that's wrong or what have you, but we want you to learn how to argue. We want you to learn how to debate. We want you to learn how to think in a way that's sound. And we're gonna be talking about that in terms of logic, uh, the ability to think logically uh, and to speak logically and argue logically about something, um, as well as to be able to disagree with somebody without being disagreeable, to try to um, be both reasonable and respectful when you're challenge when you're talking to somebody and when they're challenging you. And I want you to be able to think about the things that you currently believe about specific topics and uh, identify where you have uh, you have a well thought out approach versus where you might have just decided something. Um, and uh, this is going to make you a, a better thinker. There's a lot of people in the world right now that have very, very strongly held beliefs, but haven't examined those beliefs. And they're very, they'll argue with other people and they'll challenge other people and they'll tell other people that their ideas are stupid. And you might've had other people telling you that your ideas are stupid or your beliefs are stupid. And the key is not uh, necessarily, you know, I certainly have no intention of telling you what to believe, your parents, uh, and you have, have a strong held belief system. What I want you to be able to do is to think and to, to challenge your own beliefs in a, a respectful way and to develop your own arguments and evidence uh, for your beliefs on different topics and to be able to identify when somebody else has, uh, has a belief or has an argument that's unsound. Um, logically. So we're going to talk a lot about logic uh, to start off with. Um, and I'm going to take us over to our course homepage. And this course homepage is probably going to look, re uh, uh, is going to probably look pretty different um, by the time you get into this, even on our first day. Um, because what we have here is sort of a lot of stuff. Um, but what you're going to be able to see here on this page is hopefully you'll be able to see the roster of the different students who are taking the class so you can communicate with your other students. You're going to be able to see a calendar of events that we have coming up right, right now um, is our kickoff. And then we're going to have uh, the hopefully by next week, you're going to have a place where you can go and sort of see that you'll be able to choose a specific topic or belief that you have an opinion that you have, a position that you have, let's say that you believe something really strongly about sports, or you believe really strongly about politics, or you believe really strongly something about business or the economics or something like that. Well, in the comfort of your own website, I want you to be able to have that belief challenged, even participate in the challenging of that belief so that you can go from maybe just having an opinion to having it challenged 
and respond thoughtfully why you believe what you believe. Uh, is it based on evidence? Is it based on a uh, faith? Is it based on um, something that you've heard from somebody else? And just to get a firmer grasp of what what you believe and where maybe you haven't thought about the opposing opinion on this particular uh, topic. And this topic could be about entertainment. It doesn't have to be weighty issues necessarily. But what we want you to be able to do is to have well thought out uh, beliefs and well thought out reasoning behind those beliefs uh, so that if you're challenged or if you're challenging somebody else, this isn't the first time that you've ever thought about these uh, topics. And we're gonna be adding the notion of logic. Um, and let me talk a little bit about lo what logic is and what how we're gonna be using it. Um, m some of you may have been exposed to logic in math, uh, in geometry, there's a uh, there are principles of logic where you prove certain ideas basically saying like if a equals b and b equals c then a equals c right and you have that there's some elements of that in just arithmetic but what we're going to do is we're going to say that if you start from a principle if i say for instance i'll start off with a principle and i'll say that all uh all mammals are animals. Well, if I then say that a elephant is a mammal, then um, then I can say from that that all that an elephant is an animal, right? Because I said all mammals are animals, an elephant isn't a mammal, thus an elephant is an animal. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is just saying, starting with a proposition, starting with a belief, starting with an agreed upon assumption, starting with something, we're going to then say, can you move from that thing, that thing that we've already agreed on, can you move from that thing to the next thing and to the next thing and to the next thing and thus proved your point? And we'll talk about the difference between different types of arguments there are arguments called deductive arguments, where if everything that I have said is true, then my conclusion must be true. And then there are arguments called inductive arguments, where if the things I've said are true, then it's likely that the thing that I have said is true. So let's take that out and just in a, a relatively uh, you know, non-controversial topic of sports. Let's say that you and I agree, we wanna decide who the best football team of all time was, or the best franchise of all time is. And I say, can we agree that the that the way that we will decide on that is whatever team has won the most Super Bowl rings? Is that can we agree on that? If we agree on that, then we have an agreement, and we can then say, okay, and I'm gonna then if we say that's the case, then I'm gonna say that the team that has won the most Super Bowl rings is the Pittsburgh Steelers. By that logic, right? By these agreed upon um, propositions, then we say that the best team in Super Bowl history is the one that's won the most Super Bowls. The team that's won the most Super Bowls is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Thus, therefore, ergo, whatever the agreement is, that the Pittsburgh Steelers are the best team in Super Bowl history. Now, if I just say, hey, the Steelers are the best team in Super Bowl history, and we haven't agreed upon uh, the, the logic, we haven't agreed upon the rules, then we're just sort of arguing at each other. And we may throw out things and I might say, well, the Steelers won the most Super Bowls. And you say, well, the the Patriots have won the most Super Bowls recently. Well, we're just sort of throwing out facts, but we haven't agreed upon um, the rules of the game. And so part of what we're doing is when you're doing a formal debate is you want to define the terms. What does best mean? And you want to define uh, the rules. Like, are, what are, are we agreeing that Super Bowl rings are going to be the, uh, the, the sort of standard by which we, we measure that? But we're going to talk about all that. I just want you to introduce the concept, right? The concept of uh, logic, and we're going to try to address how we're going to, you know, how do you evaluate whether an argument is logically sound, and where is it where somebody might um, use unsound logic in an argument? And and here's the thing: you can use unsound logic in an argument and still be right. 